Meanwhile, the U.S. has authorized the transfer of billions of dollars worth of bombs and fighter jets to Israel. This is according to report. And this comes at a time when, as Washington publicly expresses concerns about an anticipated Israeli military offensive in Rafah. The report says that the new arms package includes more than 1,800 MK-84-2000LB bombs and 500 MK-82-500LB bombs. The package comes as Israel faces strong international criticism over its continued bombing campaign and ground offensive in Gaza. Some members of U.S. President Joe Biden's party have also called on Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to cut dependence on U.S. military aid. Biden has, however, promised continued support for Israel despite an increasingly public rift with Netanyahu. Washington gives $3.8 billion in annual military assistance to Israel, its longtime ally. The White House declined to comment on the weapons transfers. The weapons supply to Israel follows the visit to Washington by the Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant this week. Well, on his visit, Gallant discussed Israel's weapons needs with U.S. counterparts.